In this video, I'm going to break down one of the best short yardage passing concepts in Madden 23, and it is this play dig return out of the gun bunch offset in the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook. Now, this play is super good for short yardage situ situations. It's also good just as a changeup call. Um, it's good not only as a short yardage play, but it's just a good horizontal passing concept and uh, really actually pretty good against all kinds of different coverages. Now, if you want to get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. Uh, we also have a full tight slots halfback week offensive ebook in Cincinnati's playbook that you can get as well by being a member that really combines well with things we're teaching you out of this formation. So just keep that in mind. Um, but real simple setup here. Um, all we're going to do with this play is we're just going to take Michael Irvin and we are going to put him on a post route, uh, outside apprentice style post route. And then what I like to do with my running back here is put him on out route. So just something simple, just like this. Um, against man coverage, this route to the tight end runs really well. This flat route is pretty good. Uh, it's not as good as the flood flat route. But it's all in all pretty good. Now, one of the other things I want to show you um, about match coverage, let me make sure I have my match coverage on, is this can be a really good bomb for attacking uh, match coverage. So I'll show you match coverage real quick too, and then we'll get back to some of the other stuff that you can do with this. So let's say that your opponent comes out and they want to run some match. What you can do is just simply streak this slot receiver. And a lot of times it dumbs out match coverage, as you can see right there, just completely dumbs him out. And we're able to get a one play touchdown. So really, really good against match, as you can see. Um, but anyway, back to man coverage. Some other reads that you have uh, for attacking man to man is really a couple couple reads. This skinny post I like to utilize because sometimes what happens is people start to put that outside receiver or that outside cornerback into a outside third. And if they do that, this post is going to be wide open. Um, because why do they put them in outside third? Because a lot of people are scared of the C route this year. People don't want to have to um, – people shade outside and man to stop the C route. There's a lot of reasons. And if they're doing that consistently, what it can lead to is it can lead to this post being wide open uh, to the left side. So you'll see here that time he lights up and he's able to beat the man coverage to the inside, although they did get a knockout. So, you know, having that post, having some play in your offense where you can have uh, that post to be available to you, uh, I do think is actually, you know, fairly decent, fairly important. The other thing that I want to quickly point out is you don't have to put him on an outside of post. You can play games with him. You can put him on a C route. You can put him on a, uh, a post. You can put him on a streak. Any of those three, just make sure he runs vertical is all that I want him to do. And then this little whip route right here just gets in such a soft spot against a uh, zone. It's it's okay against man. If you have slotomatic, it's a little better. But against zone, it doesn't really matter what the zone. As soon as he comes back out, you see he just gets in this really, really soft spot um, of really anything. It, it doesn't really matter the zone. You do have a high low on the left between your running back route. As you can see right here, we can take that running back check down. If they're not playing hard flats, we can easily take that. Um, you also have that little dig that's going to come across the middle of the field. Now that dig, uh, it will be able to beat uh, man to man typically. So the dig is a good read for the most part against man. You'll see here, he'll cut inside, gets that little speed cut and oftentimes is able to beat man coverage that way as well. So you've got some stuff that's pretty solid against man, um, some stuff that's pretty solid against zone. If they do run match, there is a way, uh, as you saw, to completely dumb out match coverage with this play. So this play is very versatile, a lot you can do with it. Um, let's get back into zone here for just a little bit, and I want to talk to you about like a standard cover two. If they are running cover two and they are shading underneath this route to this little whip route right here you'll see it can kind of get in that pocket but that vert hook plays pretty decent um but if they are double flatting which a lot of people like to double flat a lot of people like to double flat double mabel now the user has to choose am i going to go guard the po or the 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 dig or am i going to guard the whip route so you see here here's the, he, he chooses the dig you throw the whip and you see super nice little concept, um, little triangular uh, concept uh, in the middle of the field. 
So they have to have a vertical hook. They also have to have a hard flat. And what this does is it starts to open up some vulnerabilities. And what you can also do off of this is you could streak Christian Kirk and you could corner out Daniels. And now it looks like that, but now it's this kind of thing, right? And you see now you're flooding them with the tight end. So there's so much versatility in the play dig return. Another concept that you can do with it on the back side is you can utilize this wheel route. And the reason I like to utilize the wheel route is because I just need something to kind of pull back the outside quarters. It doesn't have to be a post. It doesn't have to be a C route. It doesn't have to be a streak. It could be a wheel route from the backfield. And you'll see here now I can throw that there. And then I can wait on it and oftentimes be able to throw my whip route. So the beauty of this is found in the fact that you can do a lot of different things um, with this play. Another great example is to whip that outside receiver. And then you'll have that running back coming in. And then you have that coming in behind it. So you just see how this breaks down uh, zone coverage so, so, so well. Now, it also breaks down the blitz. Uh, a lot of people, you know, that they're going to blitz you, they're going to give you something that looks kind of like this. And typically, this user is going to be in the middle of the field. So that means he's going to have to choose between the whip route or the running back wheel. Uh, and he also has to choose between the, the little in route. So you see there, I can throw that whip route kind of right off the snap. I can also throw that whip route um, that actually wasn't a great example, but I can throw that whip route in a lot of different pockets. So you'll see right here, um, you know, let's say they run, you know, kind of a standard blitz. I can throw it right there, no pass lead, just possession catch it, get the ball to the player, you know, and 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 you see how valuable this is. Like you can you can attack the defense uh, super horizontally, super horizontally, and you also have some really good stuff for attacking man to man out of this same basic thing. You can even throw your running back wheel with a high point up and over the top of man coverage this year, and you see how good that can be. So dig return is an extremely versatile play. There's a lot of different ways that you can run it to make it effective. And if you want to learn my entire Bengals offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It shows you how to combine bunch and tight together to create a truly unstoppable offense. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.